So let's say we want to find an integer solution to the equation ax plus by equals the GCD of a and b when a is 123 and b is 45. <clears throat> well, the first thing we've got to do is find the GCD. So we're going to find the GCD of a and b, so of 123 and 45 using the Euclidean algorithm. It's the first thing we're going to do. So this one, I've already done this one. This one goes through several steps. So I wanted to do this because this one has multiple steps that some of the others we saw in class uh, didn't ha have so many steps. So this one has, yeah, several levels to it. So you start off with 123, right? And you're going to divide the smaller number 45 into that. You're going to have a quotient and a remainder. So 123, let's see, 45 goes into 123 twice. So to find the remainder, the remainder would be right there. We're going to take 123 minus 45 times 2. So 123 minus 45 times 2, that's 123 minus 90. That's going to be 33. I'm going to underline these two numbers, 123 and 45. That's my A and my B. Well, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my 45, my B, and I'm going to divide 33, the remainder, into that. Perform the division algorithm. So let's see, 33 goes into 45 one time. That's our quotient of remainder. Let's see, 45 minus 33 times 1, or 45 minus 33. That's going to be 12. I'm going to underline my 45 and my 33. And I'm going to take 33, and I'm going to divide 12 into that. 12 will go into 33 twice, right? And you take 33 minus 12 times 2, so 33 minus 24 is going to be 9. Okay, and then we're going to take 12 and divide 9 into that. That just goes in once, and you're going to have a remainder of 3, right? 12 minus 9 is 3, and then underline the 12 and the 9. I'm going to take 9, divide 3 into that. That happens uh, 3 times. The quotient is 3, and you're going to get a remainder of 0. You finally get a remainder of 0. So since the remainder of 0 here, this 3 right here, you could say this 3 right here is your GCD. So thus... So that's the last remainder before the zero remainder. The last positive remainder before the zero remainders be your GCD. So the GCD of 123 and 45 is 3. Okay, so the next thing we want to do, uh, we want to solve, solve the equation 123x plus 45y equals 3. So to do that, I'm going to start at the very last uh, equation that had a positive remainder. I'm going to start there. I'm going to get the 3 by itself. So I'm going to keep the 3 here on the right-hand side of the equation. And what I'll do, I'll subtract 9 from both sides. So I'm going to have 12, underline my 12, minus 1 times 9, or just 9. Okay, I'm underlining my 12 and my 9, they're important numbers. Now we look at our two numbers, our 12 and our 9, that are underlined, and we say, are these the, uh, the 123 and the 45, have we arrived at them? No. So one of these you're going to replace. You're always going to replace the smaller one, the smaller one. We're not going to replace 12 yet. Eventually we'll get to 12, but first we're going to replace 9. So I'm going to go to my next equation going backwards here, and we're going to replace that 9. So I'm going to leave the 12 underlined alone. And we're going to replace 9 here, that underlined 9, with, what is it, 33. I'm going to underline 33 minus 2 times 12. I'm going to underline 12. And let's simplify that. we got 12 minus 33. I'm distributing this negative here. That's going to give us plus 2 times 12, underlining the 12 equals 3, and I'm going to combine my, my like terms here. I have a 
a 12 that's underlined here and a 2 times 12 that's underlined here. That's going to give me 3 times 12. So 3 times 12 here and then minus 33 that's underlined equals 3. Okay, so our underlined numbers are now 12 and 33. We're not up to 45 and 123, so we're going to have to do another replacement. So we're going to replace this time right here, the, the 12. So we're going to go to the next equation where the remainder is 12. And we're going to keep the 3, that coefficient, and we're going to replace that 12 that I'm underlined right there with 45 minus 33. And we're going to underline the 45 and the minus 33. And don't forget we have a minus 33 here that's underlined. A equals 3. So we'll distribute the 3 now. we got 3 times 45. 45 is underlined. Uh, minus, so distribute the 3. 3 times 33. That 33 is underlined. Minus 33. That's underlined. Equals 3. And you want to combine your 33s. You got 3 times 45. 45 is underlined. So I have minus 3 33s and minus 1 33s. That'll give me minus 4 33s. Underlining that 33. You're kind of tra treating the 45 and the 33 like variables right now. Okay, so I look at my 45 and my 33. Those are my underlined numbers. And see, are they my originals? Well, I got 45. That's, one of, that's my B. Uh, however, 33 is not original, right? So we want to replace 33 with something. So we're going to go up to our final, the very top, where the remainder here was 33. And we're going to replace this 33 right here. I'm underlining in green with 45 minus 33. 45 minus 33. So let's do that. We're going to have 3 times the 45 that's underlined. We just keep that. Minus 4 times. And rather than 33, now we're going to write... 123 minus 123 minus 2 okay 123 minus 2 times 45 that's the top equation 123 minus 2 times 45 1 okay i didn't leave myself enough space 33 is 123 minus 2 times 45 so i get that from the very top equation right where we subtract 2 times 45 from both sides of the very top equation. This is all equal to 3. The next thing I'm doing, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to leave the 3 times 45 where it is. I'm going to distribute the 4. I'm going to have minus 4 times 123. I'm going to distribute the minus 4. I'm going to get plus 8 times 45. Yeah, that's 45 right there, right? Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. And then we're going to combine our uh, like terms. Uh, I'm going to keep the 123 term in the front, so I'm going to have minus 4 times 123. I want my larger number, my larger underlying number in front. That's going to be the A. And then when I combine the 3 to three forty fives and the 8 45s, I'm going to have 11 45s. That's going to be equal to 3. So remember what we were solving. We were trying to solve, if you remember, 123x plus 45y equals 3. So you, if you look here, this is going to be my x. So my x is going to be minus 4. And my y, my y is going to be positive 11 here. Now well, there you have a solution. Uh, double check this and plug it back in. You take negative 4 times 123 plus 11 times 45 in a calculator and you should get 3. Yeah, it works. So there, there's a solution to that. All right. So that one's a little more involved than any we've seen so far. That's a good, uh, good example for you where you have several levels deep.